जय हिंद चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन नर्जन मंडेला लॉन्ग वॉक टू फ्रीडम before we move on to the last part let's recall the main points of the first two parts in the first part we discussed about the inaugural ceremony on which nelson mandela sworn in as the first black president of south africa and his inaugural address to the gathering in the second part we have discussed about the history of south africa wherein the white supremacy introduced the system of apartheid and many people had struggled and sacrificed for basic human rights mandela got courage from those people and he believed that no man is born hating another person if they can learn to hate they can be taught to love too now let's move on to the third part in life every man has twin obligations obligations to his family to his parents to his wife and children and he has an obligation to his people his community his country here mandela says that every man in this world has twin obligations obligation means commitment duty so men has two duties in this life one is obligation to his family second one is obligation to his people obligations to his family means to his parents to his wife and children obligation to the people means to his community in a civil and human society each man is able to fulfill those obligations according to his own inclinations and abilities now mandela says that in a human society every man can fulfill those obligations according to their own inclination here inclination means natural tendency of behavior according to their behavior natural tendency and ability they can fulfill those obligations but in a country like south africa it was almost almost impossible for a man of my birth and color to fulfill both of those obligations in south africa a man of color who attempted to live as a human being was punished and isolated mandela says that in a country like south africa it was not possible for a man to fulfill those obligations he says that if a man tries to live like a human being then he will be isolated and punished now in south africa a man who tried to fulfill his duty to his people was inevitably ripped from his family and his home and was forced to live a life apart a twilight existence of secrecy and rebellion don't listen mandela here says that if a man in south africa especially a black colored man tries to uh, that means have the commitment towards his people then what will happen if a man try to fulfill his duty to his people he will be inevitably ripped from his family inevitable means unavoidable inescapable that means he won't be able to escape from that uh, ripped ripped means snatched so they will be snatched from this family and his home and was forced to live a life apart so they have to live a different life how with a twilight existence of secrecy and rebellion twil twilight existence means a half secret life understood here uh, the author says that the colored people actually they were not allowed to live freely those people who dared to uh, live freely were considered rebels such people either had to live a life somewhere away from the family hiding from this uh, security forces or sometimes they will be imprisoned they could be killed at any time hence their life was like a twilight existence of secrecy and rebellion understood now 
I did not in the beginning choose to place my people above my family. But in attempting to serve my people, I found that I was prevented from fulfilling my obligations as a son, a brother, a father and a husband. Now he says that in the beginning, you know, uh, he never chose to uh, have the commitment to his uh, people, but he had given importance to his family. But when he tried to have the commitment to her towards his people, he found that he was prevented from his commitment towards his family. By, by that means he was not able to fulfill his commitment as a son, as a brother, a father, as well as a husband. Now, next paragraph. I was not born with a hunger to be free. I was born free, free in every way that I could know. Free to run in the fields nearby my mother's hut. Free to swim in the clear stream that ran through my village. Free to roast mealies under the stars and ride the broad backs of slow moving bulls. Now he says that in the, when he was born, he was not born with a hunger for freedom. He was born free. He, he was given total freedom when he was a child. He was free in every way, isn't it? He was free to run in the fields near his mother's hut. He was free to swim in the clear stream that ran through his village. And he was also free to roast mealies. Here mealies actually it is a, a maize, a South African maize uh, uh, like uh, the sweet corn. Okay, he was able to roast those mealies under the stars. And he was also able to ride the broad backs of moving, slow moving bulls. As long as I obeyed my father and abided by the customs of my tribe, I was not troubled by the laws of man or God. Now he says that as long as he obeyed his father as well as abided by. Abided by means followed. Followed the customs of his tribe. He was not troubled by any laws of man or God. Next paragraph. It was fully when I began to learn that my boyhood freedom was an illusion when I discovered as a young man that my freedom had already been taken from me that I began to hunger for it. So in the beginning Mandela said that he was not born with the hunger for freedom. He says that when he began to learn that his boyhood freedom was an illusion. Illusion means something that appears to be real but is not. So when he found out that his freedom was an illusion as well as when he discovered that as a young man his freedom had been taken from him that time onwards he had that hunger for freedom at first as a student i wanted freedom only for myself the transitory freedoms of being able to stay out at night read what i pleased and go where i choose so he says that as a student, he had or he wanted freedom only for himself. He wanted freedom, that is transitory freedoms. Transitory means something that is not permanent. See, he wanted the freedom uh, to stay out late at night. Stay out, isn't it, late at night. As well as to read whatever he wanted. As well as to go wherever he wanted. Later, as a young man in Johannesburg, I yearned for the basic and honourable freedoms of achieving my potential, of earning my keep, of marrying and having a family, the freedom not to be obstructed in a lawful life. Here Mandela says that he longed for the basic and honourable freedoms in life to achieve his potentials. Here potential means possibilities to uh, of earning my keep, of earning my keep means to earn what is needed to support oneself. Here it is to get a job, to marry and to have a family. Okay, so these freedoms will not be obstructed by laws, isn't it? So that kind of freedom he needed at that time. Now the next paragraph. But then I slowly saw that not only was I not free, but my brothers and sisters were not free. I saw that it was not just my freedom that was curtailed, but the freedom of everyone who looked like I did. Here Mandela says that slowly he recognized that not only his freedom, but also all the people who are having the same color as that of him were curtailed. Here curtailed means what? Cut down or reduce from the freedom that they had to get. 
that is when i joined the national af uh, sorry african national congress and that is when the hunger for my own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of my people so when he joined african national congress that hunger for his freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of his people it was this desire for the freedom of my people to live la their lives with dignity and self respect that animated my life that transformed a frightened young man into a bold one that drove a law abiding attorney to become a criminal that turned a family loving husband into a man without a home that forced a life loving man to live like a monk so here mandela very emotionally says that his desire for the freedom of his people to live with dignity dignity means nobility nobility and self respect that animated his life here animated means energetic that means that made his life very energetic very love lively that transformed a frightened young man into a bold one so that may, uh, made him into a very bold person that drove a law abiding attorney to become a criminal so he was a very uh, uh, that means uh, obedient isn't he was a very op he was very obedient to the law of the society so he was a well behaved person so from that well behaved person he became a criminal that turned a family loving husband into a man without a home and he was forced to live like a monk now i am no more virtuous or self sacrificing than the next man but i found that i could not even enjoy the poor and limited freedoms i was allowed when i knew my people were not free here he says that he was not so virtuous that means righteous or self sacrificed than other people virtuous means having or showing high moral standard that means he was not above other people but he found that he was not able to enjoy the freedom that he got and when he found that he, so that means he got some freedom and when he found that he the other people are not getting the same freedom that he had he was not uh, able to enjoy that understood now freedom is indivisible the chains on any one of my people were the chains on all of them the chains on all of all of my people were the chains on me here mandela says that freedom is indivisible indivisible means no, it cannot be divided freedom cannot be divided the chains on any one of my people that means if any one of his people is arrested or not have or not given the freedom that means everyone in his group is not having the freedom if everyone is not having the freedom then he himself is also not uh, getting the freedom or not having the freedom now we move on to the last paragraph of this lesson see i knew that the oppressor must be liberated just as surely as the oppressed oppressor who is an oppressor someone who treats people in an unfair way or cruel way is an oppressor so he says that both the oppressor and the oppressed should be liberated liberated means freed or released see a man who takes away another man's freedom is a prisoner of hatred he is locked behind the bars of prejudice and narrow mindedness now he is giving the answer for this first sentence why the oppressor and the oppressed to be both to be liberated he says that if a man takes away another man's freedom then the person who had taken away the freedom is a prisoner of hatred actually he is locked behind the bars of prejudice what do you mean by prejudice preconception a strong desire without any reason that is preconception okay prejudice so he is behind the bars of prejudice and narrow mindedness now see i am not truly free if i am taking away someone else freedom just as surely as i am not free when my freedom is taken from me so here he says that so he is not free when he takes away the freedom of someone or if someone takes away his freedom then also he is not free that means we are not supposed to take away the freedom from anyone the oppressed and the oppressor alike are robbed of their humanity 
so here the last sentence he says that both the oppressed and the oppressor uh, they are similarly robbed of their humanity that means when they do like this when they take away the freedom from someone then both are similar similarly robbed of the humanity here humanity means kindness the compassion the brotherly love understood that means both of them will be deprived of humanity kindness so that's the end of the lesson hope you have uh, understood everything thank you